In this video, we're going to use a variable resistor to control the brightness of an LED. This is the seventh video in a set of ten for people beginning their journey with the Jackboard Basic Top. You're going to need a Jackboard Basic, a Jackboard Basic Top, six female to female jumper wires, USB C cable, and a PC or a Chromebook. This is the circuit we're going to build. If you think back to the earlier simple LED circuit, we had a fixed value 1K resistor here. So in this version, what we're doing is we're replacing the fixed 1K resistor with a variable resistor. And this will let us change the brightness of the LED. But before we start building the circuit, let's just have a quick look at the idea of variable resistors. So as I said earlier, a variable resistor is basically a resistor whose value can be changed and that's usually done by turning a shaft or a knob. If we look at the structure, on the outside here you have this horseshoe of resistive material and on the inside you have a wiper and that's connected to this knob so as you turn the knob you're actually moving the wiper and what that does is you see the three pins down here Turning the wiper changes the relationship in terms of the amount of resistor material between either pins 1 and 2 or between 2 and 3. So for example, if we move the wiper all the way over here and we look at the resistance between pins 1 and 2, it'll be quite low because there's very little of the material between the wiper and the two pins. On the other hand, if with the wiper still over here on the left hand side, if we measure the resistance between pins 2 and 3, that's going to be much higher because you've got a lot more resistive track between the two pins, namely 2 and 3. So by changing the position of the wiper on the resistive track, you change the resistance between either 1 and 2 and 2 and 3. That's how a variable resistor works. And in our circuit, it's going to help us control the amount of current that gets to the LED. So this is our complete circuit. And as you can see, we've got the 3 volts going into pin 1 of pot 1, which is this guy here. And then pin 2 of pot 1 is going to our LED and then ground from the LED back to ground. Now as I turn the variable resistor, you can see the brightness of the LED changing. So when I've got it anti-clockwise and the LED is at its dimmest, we have the maximum amount of resistive track material between the LED and the power. And then as I turn it clockwise, I'm reducing the amount of resistive material, therefore dropping the resistance, and so the LED gets brighter. So now that we've looked at how it's actually working, let's build it. So I'm going to take out the wires. So the first thing we need to do is get some power going from 3 volts to pin 1 of pot 1. That's this one here. And then we're going to go from pin 2 of pot 1 to the red LED pin. And then we need our ground, so we go from ground, from the red LED back to ground. And there we have it. It's quite a simple circuit. So just to reiterate, 3 volts goes into the variable resistor, comes out, goes along to the LED, and then back to ground. So it's a complete path. Once you've built your circuit, use these two pictures to check against your one to make sure that all the connections are correct. And again, if you don't have these colors of jump wire, that's fine. The main thing is that the connections are right. And finally, let's just have a quick review of how this works. So essentially current flows from the three volt power supply here through the first jumper, which is the yellow jumper, through the variable resistor, which is pot number one, and it's going through pins one and two. And so as you turn the knob, you're changing the resistance of this variable resistor, which changes the amount of resistance that the current encounters. Then we go via the orange jumper wire to the LED, and it lights up, and then the green jumper back to ground. So what's happening is that as we're changing the variable resistance here, we're controlling how much current the LED gets, and therefore how bright it is. So less current means it's dimmer, more current means it's brighter. In the next video, 
we're going to use five LEDs to make a colourful rainbow. To jump directly to that video, enter the TMT code shown on the screen into the search prompt at jb.works. For more information and to get help, visit jb.works.